when looking at anything from share prices to even medical information such as infection-related numbers, as we've been doing quite a bit in 2020, we oftentimes use charts. But let us assume we have a chart where time is displayed on the horizontal or x-axis and the total number of virus infections is displayed on the vertical or y-axis. For the most part, there are two important and very different types of charts. One, linear charts or arithmetic charts as some refer to them, and two, logarithmic or log charts. When it comes to the horizontal axis, it simply illustrates the passing of time with both charts. No differences here. The vertical axis is where things get interesting because, one, for linear charts, the prevailing idea is that a unit is a unit, plain and simple. For example, on a linear chart, the distance from 100 to 200 cases is represented the same way as the distance between 200 and 300 cases, because in each situation, we're talking about an additional 100 units or cases. Two, with logarithmic charts, it's different and we look at the change in terms of percentages from one data point to another. As such, a longer line will be drawn from 100 to 200 cases than from 200 to 300 for the simple reason that the value increases by 100% or doubles from 100 to 200 cases, whereas it only increases by 50% from 200 to 300. As can be seen, the visual representations can differ dramatically. For this reason, we tend to use logarithmic charts when looking at things like exponential growth, for example if the number of total virus infection cases would double each day, because from a logarithmic chart perspective, going from 500 to 1000 is displayed through a line just as long as going from 1000 to 2000. On a linear chart, the 1000 to 2000 line would be two times longer, and as numbers keep going up, interpreting linear charts becomes harder.